Welcome to East Coast LQ Reviews. Today, we're reviewing Johnny Walker High Rye Blended Scotch Whiskey. On the front, it says a rich and rounded blend of whiskeys crafted from rye, barley, and wheat, married with the finest single malts. It is 45% alcohol by volume, or 90 proof. Stilled, blended, and bottled in Scotland. On the side, in Scotland, rye has been used in whiskey making dating as far back as 1784. Our high rye contains a mash bill of rye, barley, and wheat with at least 60% rye. The whiskey is aged in first fill and refill American oak casks at our bonded warehouse. Uh, it says signature distilleries, Cardew, Cambridge, Teneach, Cowal Isla, and Clinesh, Glen Kinchy. I believe I pronounced that right. <laughs> right? Uh, so I paid $20 for this, um, so it was just kind of like an impulse buy, I saw it, it was a new brand, um, I believe it's been out for probably like a year now, um, from what I saw offline, uh, but yeah, I saw it 20 bucks, and I was like, why not, let's try it out, um, I have had a few sips, um, me and uh, Bumpy actually had a little bit of this, um, he wasn't the biggest fan, uh, but yeah, let's get right into it. I'll pour it up and we can check out the appearance. All right. It pours golden in appearance, golden color. Some nice alcohol legs there. So it is 45% alcohol by volume. Yeah, doesn't look too bad. Uh, so no age statement on the bottle or online. Let's go for the nose. A little bit of that ethanol alcohol definitely knows some right up front. Lots of um, fruits in vanilla. Getting big like apple, banana. slight hint of some earthy aromas so a little bit of like pea slight hint of smoke some caramel slight hint of mint in there as well I'm guessing from that rye Salt, a little salty on the nose, definitely. Slight hint of smoke. Definitely kind of lacking in the smoke department as far as being a Johnny Walker product. It doesn't have an off putting aroma. Uh, I just kind of wish I got a little bit more out of it, to be honest with you. Kind of wish it was a little bit more smoke and more peat. But uh, yeah, overall, doesn't smell too bad. Let's dive in, try it out. Cheers. Apple right up front for sure. Caramel apple, vanilla. Definitely some of that smoke on the back end. Earthy in between as well. A little bit of citrus and some salt on the finish. Not bad. Um, yeah, it kind of tastes like a blended scotch with some notes that you would get from like an American rye whiskey. I do think that the blended scotch notes are a little bit more overpowering and you get kind of whispers of something that you would get out of like an American rye. Mouthfeel is pretty good. I do enjoy the mouthfeel. Um, it's solid for that 90 proof. It 
Is it the best blended scotch? No, but I do think it is kind of unique. I do enjoy it. Um, I think online I heard some people saying that this was like 30 bucks a bottle. So I don't know if maybe they're just trying to get rid of what they got. Um, selling it for $20. But yeah, 19 it was like $19.99. Oh, on the side it says uh, sweet wood spice, fresh cut fruit, creamy vanilla on the nose. Uh, palette, green apple, rich toffee, dried clove. Finish dry rye spice. Get a little bit of the spice more of the smoke is more uh more noticeable um to me personally overall it's not a bad product um i haven't really had much johnny walker lately but i think what's kind of missing is the peat in this um like there's a slight earthy peat um uh, but i kind of wish it was a little bit more prominent kind of gets covered up by um like the rye spice and like the citrusy notes um that you would get with the rye from the rye grain yeah if you're a johnny walker fan i think you're gonna be looking for more of that peat flavor in this product and I would say that that's probably where it falls flat. Um, but overall, like I said, it's pretty unique. I do enjoy it for 20 bucks. Uh, definitely a great value. Um, doesn't have a big alcohol burn on the back end. Can easily be, be, uh, be sipped. Yeah, solid. Um, I think I'm going to go... 84 out of 100 for this product if uh if you like rye um and you enjoy blended scotches i think you would enjoy this if you're a johnny walker fan i think you'd probably be better off just getting the red label or the black label um and let's say maybe you're new to blended scotch but you're a fan of rye, you've had plenty of rye. i think that this would be a good entry level to a blended scotch uh, I feel like the rye does add a good amount of sweetness to it. Yeah. So yeah, I would recommend it. Like I said, if you're new to blended scotch whiskeys, I think you would enjoy it. But if you're the uh, typical Johnny Walker fan, uh, maybe you just want to try it. Just have it on your shelf and uh, possibly compare it to the other ones. But overall, I would say this is definitely the bottom of the totem pole. Um, I think the red label is what, maybe like 30 bucks? If that, um, you're probably better off grabbing that over this. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else you guys like to see on my channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.